Hello everyone, my name is Liam Manage, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the 25th game in the 31 days of horror that we are currently doing on the channel. Today we are playing Amnesia the Bunker, or Amnesia Bunker, I'm not entirely sure which one it is. The Bunker. Um, I have played this game before, um, I played it when it came out on Game Pass, and let me tell you, I absolutely shit my pants playing this game. I was terrified. Uh, Damn. Um, cribbing an intense nightmare, be ready for an unforgiving count as an extreme caution, a true horror test. Mm, I'll put it on normal. Um, yeah, I love this game. And the main reason I got it again is because I heard. Well, the reason I bought it on PlayStation is because I heard that there is a new mode. Well, it was it was last year they brought it out, um, like to make the make it so it's harder, make it so there's no safe areas. And seeing how scared I was when I first played this, I would love that to come back. So to survive this war, you'll need two things: first, a basic set of skills; second, the good goddamn sense to do whatever's necessary. I can teach you the first; the second is up to you. Romy and Dalby, General de Brigade, Fourth Army of the Third Republic.
Come fast, fast! No time on you. We make it out of this hell together. Now follow me. We're nearly there. Okay, I just want to say there was a reason I wasn't talking at that point because I knew it would be too loud to. <laughs> Beat that roll, my friend. There you have it, huh? Ah, oh, fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. Said I'd. So that's why I did that. I'm just like, because I always make my like Saints Row characters like their nose like back here. Because I always wonder why their nose is all like here. But yeah, I was quiet because I knew I wouldn't be able to like speak. Or at least it would have been, it would be too loud. I don't know how much of this is going to be changed. Um, I'm assuming it's the same experience, but I would love if. What a good guy. I'm assuming it's like his best friend or something. I think I'm getting this part confused with... I get confused with these two games like this reminds me of Art Infinitum which came out after this um would love to replay that again as well you are now on your own learn adapt experiment and survive yes I love honestly I can't tell you how much I love this game um I will definitely I'm definitely gonna try and plan it uh I tried to do it on the Xbox but I kind of got a lot bored And much like Amanda the Adventurer, I have a lot of questions about this game. Despite finishing it and going through it like twice, um, I don't really, I didn't really get my questions answered. Okay, um... Tenth of July, nineteen sixteen. Soldat Clement ad admitted to medical treatment following events of 9th of July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. The patient remains in a weak coma state will respond to stimuli, but only for a brief periods of time. When the last roused, he reported no memory of recent events, had trouble recalling even his own name, most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. We'll continue to monitor if status does not improve in a week's time. Recommend a transfer to Saint ENI for neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Joyensky. But be careful not to make too much noise. I remember that. And I remember that message made me panic. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, when I first played this game and I was walking around here, yeah, I was shitting it. 
for ages. Like, I couldn't even move, it was that bad. Like, I was like walking like so slowly. Um, this game, this this is my like this by well sorry I say by far, this is my number one favorite amnesia game so far. I mean I did my favorite used to be like Machine for Pigs, um, but this one's just beat that. Let me put subtitles on just because. You want to escape? You need to blow it back open. There's dynamite in the arsenal. Ah, and a handle to trigger it somewhere in the excavation site. Get them, and you can make it out. Oh, shit! That thing, it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off, please. I want to die at the hands of a broader soldier, not that monster. Okay, I do remember this is... Get it. Do the job, please. I'm pretty sure there's two trophies for killing him and letting that thing take him. I'm pretty sure when I first played it, I was like, no, I'm not going to shoot you, I want the ammo for myself. What's that? Expired meat must not be consumed, but by soldiers better used to attract rodents and other possible bunker pests. Hello? You're in there? I'm just hoping that they're gonna do like a bait and switch on me. I'm hoping they do the good old bait and switch. Like, I I remember when the monster comes. Um, you can save your progress by hitting this lamp. Be bust. Yeah, I remember when the monster comes, like, vaguely, but... Um... Important, when processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of the ID. Tags for any messages, symbols, or lock records. There are... These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. Um... Just, oh, God. I just remember all of this, like, going through all of these different areas, looking for stuff. Um, one thing I have heard, this door, right here, it doesn't have a lock on in him. <laughs> in hardcore mode. Um, not just that, it's also, I'm pretty sure, made of wood. So the monster can just like, burst right through. 
Which I don't need to like say that is a bad thing. You can power the generator up if you're unplugged with either. Yeah, remember that. Six four two two. Stick. Oh yeah, the stick is them um, to light the thing. I remember that. Order to all men, the beast hunts in the dark, the light is our only chance and the generator our only hope. It must be fueled at all times, day and night. A continuous rotation of runs to the main supply must be maintained, which must be maintained. Watch each other's back, keep others safe, do not let light go out for all our sakes. I have so many questions though what the monster is. Uh, Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in sturdy metal canisters. as glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately and dispose of the rocks outside the bunker. Yeah, um... I also remember the fuel being a bitch to, like, maintain. Uh, God knows how hard it's going to be when it comes to oh, yeah, the stopwatch can be synced with the generator. I remember that. That's like a very important tool to have. Um, oh, I don't know. So we have about like 10 minutes to get out of here. Um, probably should shut that off till I get the code. Keep on at all times, this fucker hates light. Yeah, but even if he hates light, I still need to maintain, you know, power and all that. Well, there's not any notes, like, saying what the... Ooh. Up to it all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded, but the vermin have no interest in flesh after it's burnt. So a new policy must be made, must be instituted. The body of all deceased soldiers must be burnt. I've spoken to Father D. Rares about this. My will provide proper concentration for the deceased remains will be preserved for families. This is not the ideal. It fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming. So burn them we must. Which is a trophy. Um, one bullet. Thinking about it again, I am pretty sure I actually need to use the lever upstairs. Just knowing what's like out there waiting for me is horrifying. Oh yeah, that just turns the lights on, doesn't it? Yeah. Um would love to know what the door code is. I could have sworn it was like right on the door. Maybe it was one of these drawers.
just to save time, I'm just going to look up what the door code is. Because, you know, there is no point in looking for it. Oh, it's, it's the actual dog tag that I just got. 6422. Once again, we will not be completing this entire game. Um, you can overcome all obstacles in many ways. Use your wits and brains. Experiment if you think something might be possible to do. Probably is. I have not seen another human for hours now. It might be the last, but in hopes that there is, might be another. I'll leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell of our making. It was blown close, it needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging, impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator tunnel handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels deeper in hell. I go now to retrieve them both, though I do not know if you exist. I pray for you. Please extend me this in courtesy. You've just found the objective. One of the main reasons I will not be finishing this entire game in one episode is... Well... First off, it's a, it's a big game. There is a lot to do. Like when I say there's a lot to do, I mean there's a lot, a lot to do. I, I do, wait, 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 is he actually patrolling already? All four was going to be found. Today. To anyone who finds this funny, our commanding officer has covers next to me now. He's lost his mind when a piss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee, flee, we must flee and seal the beast where it belongs. He wants to row to blow up the exit behind him, sealing the demon down here, the demon on our men. His constant refrain is getting to me, and that same voice of terror, void of terror, sorry, it has also overtaken me. To my any of my men who see this one, once we're free of this place, I'll get the arsenal code from it. I'll get it and I'll read it back to you. Trapped down here with that beast, the arsenal may be your only hope. It's all I can do, all I have the courage to do. Get to the communication room in the soldier's court. Hide there, I'll book the code to you. Second of May, nineteen sixteen, from Sergeant Juba to M. Um, Forney and Dave Blanket. Engineers have broken through our storage area and into the old Tolman tunnels. They are, as we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I confess I was skeptical of this last point. But they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September, we should position in them to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels. Perhaps of note, inside the tunnels we found urns, Latin texts, etc. We'll do our best to preserve some materials for posterity. What? Oh, I just can't trust it. I just. No. Okay, yeah, I remember now. So the door does have a lock um, in the hard mode, but it's wooden, so it just takes it a little bit extra time to break through it. Um, I'm already full up on stuff, so that's fun. Flare. 30th of June. After raid of last evening, we have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the IV support. With one expectation, I recommend they be shipped to the camp as soon as possible. Feasible, sorry. Prisoner 734, I would like to hold before we capture. He ripped his rank and insignia from his uniform, so his rank remains in nonsense. Capture is refused to say worse. Pick me off be an officer of a purpose. I wonder if. Um, this monster. Also, this is just a tip from me, but if you do play this, and I highly, once again, I highly recommend it. 
block these. I mean, it will not stop the monster, but it will give you time to escape. Um. There was a lot of notes, eh? Yeah, I'm not gonna be like grabbing everything because I, I'm, I'm just playing this for YouTube and then I'll probably make my own save to play through it properly again. I voted increased security for the Arsenal lot and code and I root out those responsible for this horrendous act. This has to be done for friends. After Tremley's death, the bunker descended into chaos. Have we taken control? We've taken control of all the metaphorms, gods. They hunt the beast down and kill it. They tell me it's not possible. They tell me the buds don't kill it. They only buy a little time and the beast comes back hungry. They're cowards. I've sent them back out now to do as they should hunt and kill it. If they feel their face are worse, their face of worse fate than cause in the darkness. Right, well, let me tell you something, right? Instead of ordering your men to do what you to kill a beast, why don't you try and kill it and see how hard it is? <sighs> oh, I've got one bullet in the chamber. And I'm not afraid to use it. Look at it. Look them both. Oh, this game. I kind of stress enough how scary it is. Horrible. Also, my advice don't lock the doors. Like, make sure before you leave, don't lock all the doors. Because if you lock multiple doors, you're just going to get trapped. Like, um. Just so I can quickly explain. Like, well, there was one time that I locked the. I locked the back door that you just seen, and then I went through the other door, and then I've seen the monster. I ran all the way around, and I tried to get through the door, and I found out I locked it. I should have put some of my stuff away. Son of a bitch. At least I'm getting scares out of it. I mean, I haven't played the game in like years and years and years, but sorry, I say years and years. I think I played it like two years ago. I could be wrong. Um, I'm probably the wrong. Like, uh, thinking about it, if I played it years ago, it would have been like, sorry, two years? Because if the Halloween update came out in 2023, I'm assuming it came out in 2022. Also, my advice, don't be as careless as I am right now. Like I've been saying for this entire like YouTube um, 31 days, I'm just doing this for the scares. Um, I'm not playing these games to completion. I just want like 
every day to be a good scare. of July. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. Do they know what I've done? Do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. God knows what you did. Debarding 043. Sorry, 0481. Debarding. Debarding. Two bullets now. How you like me now, bitch? Like any responsible person, I just want to say I do not condone what I'm about to do. Um, I say I do not condone what I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it anyway to speed up. That's what, this is what I'm trying to say about this game. It does so good job of like making you think it's cool. Just move the boxes. A pocket pack, perfect. Um, from St. Larue to M. Fournia in Day Blanket. I'm now putting into writing what I have reported to both of my maybe superiors. Last evening, 40th of May, I was assigned to the engineering. 
Not in the Roman tunnels, not into the deepest area of the tunnels, I know a strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone. I was standing in a vast plane of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between me and the malformed shadows moved. I blinked again, it was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted about a split second, but I'm quite convinced that what I saw was not a daydream, it was real. Since that exper experience, I have felt haunted like a part of me is still there. Stuck in the kit's tunnels, I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my mind. I am formally requesting medical leave. Please help me! Calm down, bud. G Delphi. I'm pretty sure that's the um That's the valve. And that's where things get interesting. Oh look at you with your little trip path. Also, for anyone wondering what I was not condoning, I was going to use a grenade on one of these doors. But, um... That's probably not the best idea. I know, strange, isn't it? Wait, 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 stop, stop. You don't come out there. That's not how this works. Six five four nine. I don't mind to come out there. Can't carry any more items. Fuck, I'm gonna drop. Happy to do it. You stay. Okay, I'm moving this in front of that. Because that's where I remember he comes out of. Um, I can't do it on this. Put it off, what? Block the beast half out of a hole. Fuck. It, it, it drained just like that. Are you joking? Right, this is why you don't leave the fuel on. I mean, it did say, like, oh, be careful how much food you use. Um, opening and closing emergency lockdown gates. I'm just going to drop the pocket watch um, to make this episode more scary. Um, I'm going to do it in complete darkness. Where are you? I 
should be crouching. I should be crouching. But I'm not crouching. Oh, right, that's how I made a click. I'll that trigger. Every time it's an ass clench when you do that. Okay, I remember this part as well. Um, Is he my dad? Sicher here in my cafe. Hey, birds. I do want to mention. I do want to mention before the monster comes, it looks like a granddad. Fighting them. I need to be in there, so... Okay, that is right. You do need a lot of stuff. And if you need to move Grant and request a special wrench from four months stuff for Donna Mintz, while you're there, ask him why they use these down special screws and Grant very insufficient. And obviously, yeah, like, every time you die, you've got to make sure you got a progress save, because you could do the entire game without saving. I'm pretty sure that's a trophy. Uh, but that means if you die, there's no checkpoints. I think I'm going to leave the episode there. I mean, this is like a 45-minute episode, uh, maybe a little bit less. Uh, or maybe longer, who knows. Uh... I highly recommend you guys try this game. Um, it's not much. It's only like under twenty pound. Um, amazing game. It has a lot more replay value, and the scares and the monster. And if you play it with headphones, even better. 
which is what I did when I first played it. And let me tell you, I was cr I was like crying <laughs> from fear. Um, they did this one so well. Um, there we go with the M M M M's. Uh, I mean, we are coming to the end of the Thirty One Days of Horror, which is crazy. Like, it's kind of flown by. I mean, this is the. 25th video uh, I have a plan to finish the 31st episode the 31st episode just saying is going to be a, is going to be turned into a series uh, not going to spoil what that game is but all the hint I'll give is someone asked someone requested me to play it so I'm looking forward to revisiting that childhood, I say childhood game. I played it at someone's house once, but like, like I said in that video that I mentioned it, I'm just going to keep that for that episode. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. And I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye! <laughs>